Or maybe you think of it as a certain pattern of several smaller edges. So maybe our hope is that each neuron in the second layer of the network corresponds with the various relevant little edges. Maybe when an image like this one comes in, it lights up all of the neurons associated with around 8 to 10 specific little edges, which in turn lights up the neurons associated with the upper loop and a long vertical line, and those light up the neuron associated with the 9. Whether or not this is what our final network actually does is another question, one that I'll come back to once we see how to train the network. But this is a hope that we might have, a sort of goal with the layered structure like this. Moreover, you can imagine how being able to detect edges and patterns like this would be really useful for other image recognition tasks. And even beyond image recognition, there are all sorts of intelligent things you might want to do that break down into layers of abstraction. Parsing speech, for example, involves taking raw audio and picking out distinct sounds, which combine to make certain syllables, which combine to form words, which combine to make up phrases and more abstract thoughts, etc. But getting back to how many of these actually yeah. are, so the fact that they are doing it, how exactly the activations in one way are doing it after this season. The goal is to have some of the things that could conceivably combine pixels into edges, or edges into patterns, or patterns into digits.